Good morning, everyone. Do you know what day it is? We have to look it up. It's Scrap Saturday. Yay! There's my hubby. Say hi. Hi. And this is what I've prepared. Oh, that's my camera, sorry. This is what I've prepared for the ladies. So I think you can tell that that's my side of the desk, right? <laughs> so this spot here is for my niece Cassie. And that's my really old, well-loved mat. And this spot here is for my sister-in-law Maria and my sister-in-law Marlene, who's my husband's sister. And I've got my cart up here with all my stuff. All my essentials, everything that I think I want, and I've got my kit. Look at that. This is how it came up from the basement. Isn't that horrible? Just a big glob of mess. Got my Bose speakers ready to go because we need to jam it out. And then over here on my island, we have a cuddle bug station just in case. I've got my plate set out. My awesome, awesome hubby already made some quinoa for us. Yeah, should I open it? Of course. I've never made a vlog before. It's gluten-free and vegan. Yes, some munchies. And then over here is my breakfast. It's a breakfast of champs. My pancakes that are vegan with my half a banana. My lemon detox tea, which I have all the time. I love my yogi tea. It is so good. If you haven't tried it, you have to try it. And every time you open up a tea, it has this really nice saying on it. I don't even know how to focus with this camera. Does it focus? Is it too close, too far, not enough light? It says, use your head to live with heart. And that's my Starbucks mug. And so... No, this is a weird video. I'm going to be pouring. Kudos to those people that do vlogs, eh? Here I thought process videos were complex. Uh, no. But yeah, I'm going to try and get my hubby to, uh, I think that's what he's doing downstairs. Oh, that's his Tim Hortons single coffee maker. I don't drink coffee. I only drink tea. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get him to bring up my, um camera so that we can totally do this. Hello everyone. I know I already said hello at the beginning. Do you like that? It's a little bit blurry, but you know, I tried it like three different ways. My phone didn't have enough memory, then my iPad didn't have enough memory, and I just thought, it's going to be what it's going to be. But yeah, we had a blast on Scrap Saturday with my sister-in-laws. I didn't record anything else the rest of the day, because as you can see, my husband was able to attach my arm for my Canon camera so that I could record what I was doing that day. Yay! I didn't record all of my layouts. I think I came up with seven or eight and I think I recorded four of them. Maybe five. I'm not sure. <laughs> it was such a great day. We had so much fun. And I continue to use my Scraptastic kits that you saw me open up on my previous uh, Saturday scrapbooking process video. So last Saturday. So this is going to be the next Saturday. So this is April 1st, is it not? I think it is. Oh, I hope the weather is better. I have no idea. Today is actually a Friday. And I'm trying to sneak this in before the kids get home, before my dog starts barking and... Yeah, I'm having so much fun with these videos, so I hope that you guys are enjoying it too. So this photo is a photo of my husband and my two kids, Gabriella and Augustino. And we went to uh, a party 
well, I should backtrack. When we got to Portugal, that week, the first week that we were there, uh, is a fun full week where they had live bands and live DJs at this sort of like an open field. Like in Canada, I would call it like a Molson Park type place. So an outdoor uh, amphitheater and uh, we had wrist bracelets to wear. So this party was essentially all day long with street parties happening, things shut down, a lot of vendors, um, things that we, even myself, I have never been to a street festival like this before. I don't even know if my husband has, he probably has when he lived there. And we were so grateful that his um, goddaughter, Anahita, was able to get us all wrist bracelets and it was her gift to us. So I say thank you. And uh, my son's face, we'll just get that off, right off out of the way. His face is like, please help me. <laughs> and you're coming to get to know that every single picture you see my son in so far for the last two weeks has this, please rescue me. I don't belong with this family face, right? <laughs> but you see, people in Europe, they don't really do what we do, right? Nine o'clock isn't bedtime. <laughs> Nine o'clock is dinner time and uh, 11 o'clock is time to get ready for parties. And so this picture here, I believe is 430 in the morning. Yeah, I know. I know you're going to send me letters and all kinds of stuff, but the kids need to have this type of immersion. We need to teach them a lesson. We need to show them what happens if they start partying at a young age so they, they can have this face like, no, I don't want to do it. <laughs> Actually, no, my daughter really enjoyed it. And so did my son. He's, I mean, please tell me, you guys have to give me a comment here. If you have a grandson or if you have kids, you know, or even if you remember when your kids were that age. So my son is nine here and my daughter is 13. And, uh, he was fine. Like we had this color chalk that they would give us and it's kind of glow in the dark sort of color chalk. And of course there are things that little kids don't like and we didn't take them out every night. Mostly they stayed back with grandma and grandpa and aunt and uncle and they slept at home. No, Gabriella came with us every night, but Augustino did not. We spared him the four o'clock in the morning, five days in a row thing, except for the color party because I thought this will be his first rave right? Totally with mommy and daddy. That's so much fun. And so when we were doing the chalk thing and when we were dancing around and the glow in the dark lights came out and he was able to throw chalk at people, you know, I say throw instead of whip because I'm trying to be politically nice here on YouTube. And we got full, we got destroyed with this color. It was insane. It was in my bra. It was in my underwear. Our hair had turned color and we could barely wash the stuff off, but we knew we were prepared and we were wearing our oldest new clothes because who the heck takes old clothes to Portugal when you're on vacation? I mean, I did take some, but not all of it. I mean, you know, I literally packed nice things, right? Right. So at the end, when he knew we were done and there was no more throwing of chalk and everything, and I just wanted to take some pictures and you'll see some more. I think my third layout that I share with you is what happens when we put uh, lights towards us with all the darkness that comes after, how glow in the dark, even on our face, how the powder shows up. Because right here, you think that there's no color on us, but there really is. There's so much color on us right now that it's intense. It's like the background paper. That's why I picked it because it literally literally did that to our skin and our hair and I think even our eyeballs and our teeth. I, I at this point, <laughs> I'm not sure. And myself and my husband and the rest of us, we had amazing Portuguese beer and mixed cocktails and all kinds of fresh mango juice with vodka in it. I mean, we had a great time. Nobody was drunk. The kids were safe, but we were having a good time at four o'clock in the morning. But his face was like, no more. I'm done. I hate this. I hate you guys. This is not fun. And sometimes, you know, I wish as a parent that when I'm trying to show my kids that something is a fun thing, that they would just give me a little bit more cooperation because I know when they're at home and they're playing video games, they never get tired. My son can jump up and down with his PlayStation and talk to his buddies for hours and that kid doesn't get hungry. He doesn't have to go to the bathroom and he's not tired ever, right? Do you feel me? This is what I was saying. Like, 
Like, you know, as a parent, I know you know what I'm saying. I understand he was tired, but geez, I'm telling you. So that's where I picked the Oh Snap title. I just thought it was, yeah, for Augustino, it's an Oh Snap moment. <laughs> Again, it's another one of those photos where I'm cringing my teeth and saying, please, just smile so I can record this moment, please. So as you can see, I brought out my trusty uh, book punch. I don't know what it's called, but I love it. And for whatever reason, it's funny because it's, as you can see, I'm searching for music because I am the DJ. I'm, I'm the official Scrap Saturday DJ. <laughs> I believe I'm supposed to DJ my niece Cassie's wedding. Hey, Cassie. She's actually right beside me. And I love the lighting. Upstairs, I have like huge windows and all this light. So I'm really like, I'm like, wow, I need a window down here in the basement or something because it looks pretty good. But you're going to have to bear with me for the next few videos. If you think that these are slow, just fast forward through them. But uh, I tried to scrapbook at normal Mon Monica speed. But of course, we're talking to each other. We're having a good time. And this is our official last um, Scrap Saturday for the year because we are hoping, fingers crossed here, people, that the winter will finally be over in Canada and that some hope of spring, which it's already spring, but you know, it's the coldest time of year when spring comes around. I don't know for anyone else, but it's like minus 34, like for the last three days here. And it gets tiring and the kids get, you know, cabin fever and we need to get outside and I need to get outside. So we don't really use, I don't want to use the word waste because when we're together as a family, when we're together as the girls um, know it, it is a beautiful time not only to do our favorite hobby, but to have time to gossip about everybody else's life, right? <laughs> no, we actually talk about our own lives. We actually motivate and support each other. Um, of course, I'm the loudest of the bunch and sometimes, you know, I have to forgive myself for being who I am but you know it's just I feel so empowered to you know talk about such amazing things with my sister-in-laws and my niece so it was really good this time my daughter Gabriella didn't join us she had a party to go to with one of her friends so it was just the four of us and of course as you saw from the beginning I know I showed you the quinoa without my husband Alan and his support he is just He's a sugar bear. Like, he's just the best. And he supports us having the entire day to ourselves. But don't forget, he gets the whole day playing video games in the basement, too. So it's a win-win. And, uh, yeah, this layout came about really easy. I just loosely layered the papers again, like I've been doing for a little while. I love the wood grain paper. And then I sort of did, I call this my magazine layout style, where I kind of do the border on the top. And I really like the shenanigans flare badge that I'm gluing there. And it's simple. I thought about layering stuff underneath it, but didn't really feel it. So this is as clean as I think a Monica layout gets, <laughs> right? It's, it's, it's layered, but it's not that cluttered, right? So I'm coming in with the enamel dots, which I love because anything splattery is just so much fun for this one. And you can see the close-ups, right? There's that guy looking at me like, who's that girl? Why is she taking a picture? I think it was because he's like, why is she yelling? <laughs> I'm yelling, smile. My poor daughter, she's such a trooper. And my son, look at his smile. That's so forced. Oh my goodness. The stories, the stories. I don't know what they'll say eventually when they're older. They'll, either they'll say I was a mean mom or they'll be like, thanks, mom. Yep, pretty much. I love that sticker. I thought, yes, that's exactly how I felt. And so I, I don't know about the pops of black. Here I'm trying to see if I need to, you know, insert some of these hearts and stuff like that. And I'm not too sure. And I don't think I end up doing it, to be honest. Do I? Or maybe I do. Look at that. I don't even remember. I don't remember. See, this is what happens when you have too much fun in one day. And then I didn't bring down my layouts. They're still upstairs because I wanted to photograph them in the proper light. So I don't have it here beside me. So I can't even tell you. Oh, see, no, I'm a good girl. I didn't put that down. Yeah, I thought I only kept the heart heart ones. And so this captured, I'm thinking, do I need some more black somewhere? Do I need it to be? And I think it does land right there. Yes. Captured is a good thing. We did capture the moment. We did try to have the most fun. I mean, I had a blast. I love, I, I'm a freestyle frenzy girl, so I don't know if that makes sense to anyone, but 
I really like freestyle music. I'm very much so a dance club type person. So having to be in a place where you can watch these amazing European DJs go at it live is phenomenal. They brought in old school, new music, and the sound was amazing. I mean, it's concert quality sound, and it's an open field of just thousands of people to come together just dancing and singing to music. And to me, it's the one thing that I've always liked about Ellen, and it's the one thing that I can say about myself is that music connects us, and it just brings us to a different level. So I'm so honored that we were able to show this and have this experience with my beautiful children, and I hope that you like the layout. I think it's kind of a clean, simple one, but it's so full of color and so full of life. Great big hug, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.